All right, so welcome back. So this is part two of this calculating and using the Van Hoff factor for electrolytes, um, Alex explanation. So in part one, I, I went into a little bit more detail. This one, I'm gonna go try to go a little bit more quickly through it. So if you're following along in this one, you get confused, probably just go back to that, that first video, part one, um, and take a look at that. I'm just gonna jump into this one for part two. Um, again, I've annotated some of the information that we're gonna need. I've written out my equation here. I, I always like doing that. I think it's a, a good practice. Um, and again, we're going to apply this equation, solve for the KF for our mystery liquid X, our mystery solvent X, and then sort of use that information to solve for our final answer. Um, the first step of this is gonna be to convert this 255 grams of urea. I'm just gonna write urea into moles. Uh, I know that we need to do this because basically we need to figure out what the molality is of our solution. So one mole is 60.05 grams. And then that's going to tell us that we have 4.2465 moles of urea. And then I'm going to take that 4.2465 moles of urea and divide that by 1.4 kilograms. That is the mass of my solvent in kilograms. Um, so we're, we're seeing that right here, 1400 grams. We need to convert that to kilograms. A little tricky step there, just make sure you, you're paying attention to that. 3.033 molal. So this is gonna be the molality of our urea solution, um, which we can use in our, our um, freezing point depression equation here. Our delta TF, we're told, is 5.7. So I'm just going to sort of start applying this equation down here. So 5.70 equals KF. That's our unknown. We don't know what that KF is because we're, we're dealing with this mystery liquid. Um, our molality is 3.033. And then our Van Hoff factor for this urea, again, this is a, a molecular compound. Um, these are all nonmetals. Therefore, our Van Hoff factor is going to be 1. And then that will allow us to solve for our KF. So if we solve for KF, our KF for this mystery liquid is equal to 1.879. Okay, so now that we have the KF for our mystery liquid, we can start figuring out the second part of this, um, this problem, essentially. And we're told that the mass of, we're looking for the mass of iron nitrate. So we don't know, that's basically going to tell us that we don't know what the molality is. Um, we do know what the delta TF is. So it says produce the same depression and freezing point. So we're looking for this 5.7. That's going to be our delta TF. We know what the KF is because we just solved for that here for our mystery liquid. We do not know what the molality is. And we're told what the Van Hoff factor is. We're told that the Van Hoff factor is exactly three for this iron nitrate, which is, you know, probably somewhat unrealistic, but, um, you know, this is, this is just for practice. So we know what our Van Hoff factor is. So let's go ahead and rewrite this over here. Delta TF equals KF times molality times I. Our delta TF is gonna be 5.7 because it says it's the same. Our KF we know is this 1.879. Our molality is what we don't know. And then our Van Hoff factor we're told is three. So we can use this to solve for what our molality is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. If we solve this for molality, we find we should have 1.0111 a lot of ones. Um, and then the units for that are moles per kilogram. And actually we'll write moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. I think that will be a little bit more helpful um, for this next part. So, and I'm just getting this, right? This is just the definition of molality. It's the moles of solute divided by the kilograms of solvent. Now, Basically, from here, we need to use this information in order to figure out what the mass of iron nitrate is that we're going to need. Um, we also have the, the molar mass here. But first, we're going to need to figure out the number of moles that must have been dissolved in this same mass of X, in this 1,400 grams of our mystery liquid X. So basically, I'm going to start doing some dimensional analysis. So if I know that this is the molality, 1.0111 moles of solute for every one kilogram of solvent. And instead of having one kilogram of solvent, I have 1.4 kilograms of solvent. We should be able to see that we can cancel out those units of kilograms of solvent. This is gonna leave us with 1.415 moles 
of solute, which in this case is that iron nitrate, right? Iron nitrate. So now we have the number of moles of iron nitrate. What we're asked to find is the mass of iron nitrate. So essentially all we need to do is use this molar mass, do a moles to grams conversion, and we are almost done. 1.45 moles of iron nitrate times 241.86 grams per mole. And that equals 342.3 grams. And then we would obviously want to convert that or, or um, round that to the proper number of sig figs. Sort of looking through here, you know, pretty clearly we've got three sig figs. So this number has four sig figs, but we're looking for our minimum number of sig figs. Three sig figs sort of everywhere. So we're going to round this to three sig figs. So that's going to be 342 grams of our iron nitrate solute um, that would need to be dissolved sort of, you know, to, to do all the things that we, we need to do here. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, if I went a little bit too quickly, like I said, in this video, take a look at part one of this video series. Um, I, I spent a little bit more detail. It's a little bit longer video. So hopefully that's helpful. And again, thank you for the request. Any other requests, just feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, cheers.